Medicinal cannabis is now available on free prescription in Jersey. From today, hospital consultants can prescribe the oral spray Sativex, but several other similar products could follow. It's been welcomed by campaigners who'd like to see even wider use. And now Guernsey could be following suit, as our political correspondent Claire Burton has been finding out. In the Netherlands, it's the norm. And it's big business. Bedrocan is one of Europe's biggest producers of medicinal cannabis. Now Jersey's health authorities are trying to clear it and other cannabis-based products for import and license here. And that's music to the ears of MS patient Anne. She already takes a range of medication and suffers a range of side effects, so she's keen to try something new. Lots of people with MS would like the opportunity if they're experiencing a lot of pain and in MS you do get spasms and there are various drugs for spasms but the ones I've taken have been most unpleasant side effects so people would want to try it. Sativex is the only brand of medicinal cannabis currently licensed in Jersey it was developed to treat severe muscle stiffness associated with MS, but the health ministers now approved the oral spray on free prescription for off-label use, meaning many more patients could benefit. It will be widely available where the consultant thinks it's appropriate. It's not for me to say only this condition can have it or that condition. Where a consultant in the hospital um, thinks it's appropriate. I mean, if you wanted to generalise, it's going to be mainly around management of pain. But there may be other conditions that clinicians think it's appropriate for. Meanwhile, health authorities in Guernsey are watching their colleagues over the water closely. A lot of the work we're doing is um, working with Jersey to, to establish what those products are, how we import it and vis-a-vis and -vis, uh, the, the position of the UK and then making sure we've got the legislation in place to um, get it up and running at first quarter of this year. Campaigners for cannabis-based medicines say this is a step forward. But given that long-term treatment could cost the taxpayer thousands of pounds, everyone will be hoping it gets results. Claire Burton, ITV News. And on tomorrow's programme, Claire will be looking at the alternative non-licensed cannabis products and finding out more about the potential health benefits and the potential risks.